In this machine learning class, we will see the most important tutorial algorithm from 5th unit, unsupervised learning. Here, uh, let us try to solve one problem so that we can easily understand the tutorial algorithm and let us start our class now. Hello friends, in today's data mining and warehousing class, we are going to learn this tutorial algorithm, a candidate generation and testing approach in association rule mining. It is used to find all frequent item set. Right. So here we are having one example. This is shopping baskets of customers, customer one, customer two, customer three, etc. Up to customer n. So among these baskets, we need to find which items are frequently purchased together by the customers. So to find these things, we are going to use this a priori algorithm. First, let us see the definition of a priori algorithm. It is used to find the frequent item sets using an iterative level wise approach based on the candidate generation. Right, this is the definition of a priori algorithm. The first step in this a priori algorithm is scan the data set. Okay, scanning is the first set. So, first we have to scan the set of one item set is found. Okay, one item set which satisfies the minimum support and the resulting is L1 that is level 1. Okay, so let us see one example then you can understand this easily and this L1 is used to find L2. What is L2? L2 is a set of frequent two item set. Two items will be occurred frequently. Which two item set will be occurred frequently is available in L2 and L2 is used to find L3. In L3, which are the three items will be occurred frequently. Okay, so and so on. Okay, and until no more frequent item set will found. Okay, so this is the purpose of scanning. Now let us see an example for a priori algorithm. Here we are having a list of uh, transactional data of all electronics branch. Right here. Uh, we are having bills of the customers nine bills are there under each bill the items are purchased the list of items are also listed here so the total items here we are having is i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 so totally five items are there and all the five items will be purchased by the consumers are listed here the first step is Scan the data set D for count of each candidate, right? So here we are having uh, items 1 to item 5, okay? Item 1 is 6 times purchased. See item 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So totally 6 times item 1 being purchased. And item 2 is in second, 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? 7 times. And item 3 is 6 times, item 4 is 2 times and item 5 is 2 times. Okay, so likewise, we need to count the support of the items. How many times a particular item is being purchased. So this is candidate 1. Okay, so from this, uh, compare the candidate support count with minimum support count. So let us take minimum support count is 2. Support is equal to 2, right? So, if it is 2, we can accept this. If it is below 2, we can reject that particular item. And all our items are greater than or equal to 2. So, we can accept the list 1 that is level 1 as it is. In the step, step 2, we need to generate the level 2 item set. So, for that, generate C2 from L1. L1 is already we have seen. So from that L1 we have to generate the C2 that is candidate 2 item set. 2 item set 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3, 2, 1 is already there. 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 and 1, 3, 1, sorry 3, 4, 3, 5 and 4, 5. So these are the combination of 2 item set. Okay which are available as per our item set 
as per our item set these are the possible combinations so now let us see how many items are being purchased together so 1 comma 2 is purchased four times see 1 comma 2 one time 1 comma 2 two times and 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 is purchased four times and 1 comma 3 are four times okay 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 1 and 2, 3 1 and 3 okay so 1 comma 3 is purchased four times and 1 comma 4 is one time okay 1 comma 4 see 1 comma 4 is only one time one time and 1 comma 5 is two times okay so 1 comma 5 is here and 1 comma 5 is here okay 1 comma 5 is two times and 2 comma 3 is four times right 2 comma 3 is one time 2 comma 3 is two 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 okay 2 comma 3 is four times purchased and 2 comma 4 is two times right 2 comma 4 here 1 2 comma 4 here 2 so 2 comma 4 is two times and 2 comma 5 is two times right 2 comma 5 is 1 here 2 comma 5 is here okay 2 comma 5 is two times and 3 comma 4 is zero times no one is purchased th 3 and 4 together and 3 comma 5 is one time okay so 3 comma 5 is here one time and 4 comma 5 is zero time no one is purchased item 4 and item 5 together okay from this we have to select only the support which is greater than 2 okay so we have to remove this one this one this one and this one so the remaining items will be taken for level 2 level 2 item set so candidate uh, compare the candidate support count with minimum support count okay so support count is 2 the candidate items which are greater than or equal to 2 is alone taken here so 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 5 are only selected from this c2 and this is called as level 2 l2 right from this l2 uh, we have to select the candidate of three item set three item set right one two five is there one two four is there one two three and one two three okay so these are the um, three item set here one two three is available in two times and one two five is available in two times 1 to 5, 1 to 5. Okay. So we have taken only these two. And 1, 2, 3 is available in two times. 1, 3, 5 is available in two times. Okay. So compare the candidate support with minimum support is already two times. Okay. So this is the step 3. In step 3, we have to select the three number of items will be purchased together. Now we need to find the four item set from the level three, right? So as per our list, we are having only one four item set. So this is less than this support level two. So we can stop our scanning. The next step of a priori algorithm is generating association rules from the frequent item set. That is after finding the frequent item set from the database, generate strong association rules that should satisfy both minimum support and minimum confidence. Here, for each frequent item set I, we need to generate all non-empty subset of I. Okay, for every non-empty subset of I, the output rule is S is equal to, that is S is non-empty subset, isn't it? S is equal to I minus S. That is, we need to remove S from this I. Once we generate I, then we need to remove this S from this I. And now let us compute this confidence of our given data set. Confidence of A implies B, which is equal to probability of B gives A, which is equal to the support of A union B divided by support of A, which is equal to support count of A union B divided by support count of A. Right here, confidence should be greater than or equal to minimum confidence. That is, uh, 
minimum confidence which is equal to minimum confidence threshold. So the confidence value should be greater than or equal to the minimum confidence threshold. Let us see one example for this. Here we are having non-empty subset of I R, I1, I2, I1, I5, I2, I5, I1, I2, I5. So we will take these subsets for our example and the resulting association rule with the confidence of first one i1 and i2 which implies i5 okay i1 i2 which implies i5 let us take this is a and this is b and what is the formula for computing the confidence support count of a union b divided by support count of count of a okay support count of a okay with this formula we try to find out this answer a sorry i1 and i2 this is a and i5 is b okay what are the number of counts i1 and i2 with i5 okay i1 i2 i5 i1 i2 i5 so two times it occurs okay so this is two and i1 and i2 alone i1 i2 i1 i2 i1 i2 i1 i2 so i1 i2 occurs four times okay this is four so total 50 percent confidence percentage is 50 and the next one is i1 and i5 which implies i2 okay i1 i5 i2 which occurs two times already we have seen okay and i1 and i5 alone how many times it occurs i1 i5 one time i1 i5 two times okay so this is also two so total 100%. 2 by 2 is 100%. And the third one is I2 and I5 which implies I1. I2, I5 two times. So here one time I2, I5 this is second time. So two times. Okay. After that I2 and I5 alone how many times it comes? 1, 2. Again two times. Okay. So this is also 100%. So when come to the next one here I1 is A and I2 and I5 is B. Right? So, I1, I2, I5 which occurs two times already we have seen and I1 alone will come how many times? I1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I1 alone comes 6 times. So, total 2 by 6, 30%. And the fifth one, I2 which implies I1 and I5. Okay, I1, I2, I5 which comes two times and I2 alone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, 7 times. Okay, the percentage is 29. And the sixth one, I5 which implies I1 and I2. Okay, so I1, I2, I5 is two times and I2. 5 alone which comes only 2 times. So total this is 100%. 2 by 2 is 100%. Here the minimum confidence threshold is 70%. So we have take only the confidence which are above 70%. So here above 70% are 2, 3 and 6. Okay. Second, third and last rule are above the output that is the accepted ratio. So, the confidence should be the above threshold. After this, we have seen the priori algorithm with uh, an example. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from uh, data mining environment. Thank you.